all the stuff going on, I was like, I'm just gonna stay in my dorm. You know, it's a gloomy day, and I was like, I should do something, and you know, maybe can lift up my spirits from all the negativity. It was like a group meme with a um, group chat with all my other classmates. A classmate, she really wanted to um, do something for what's going on. We heard about the graffiti on the wall. We painted over it in white already, but like, let's do something more than just painting over it in white. You know, let's fight back and do something like, you know, that's not too aggressive, but like, you know, kind of showing that we're, we stand together, you know, in the visual arts community. My professor, Deborah, she bought all these art supplies, like paint, and we just decided to paint. And she was like, send an email to, you know, me and I can send it to the head of the School of Art and then we sent it to all VPA students and people showed up and we just, you know, we got started. It um, brings a smile to my face actually because every time I walk to class I'm like, oh, I remember those times and I remember that sunflower I drew and as a whole I think it means the community can be united and we can be equal no matter what race or sexual orientation. The protesting is amazing and I, I support it fully, but I wanted to add something to it as well. You know, they might not be able to know exactly, you know, how, like, what people were thinking and going through, but, like, just they could tell through the art, they'll be able to look at it and see, like, this is, this is one of the, like, the moments on the timeline that happened throughout our process of getting where we need to be. Um, think about what actually happened, and um, I guess to remind them that like discrimination, anyone shouldn't be tolerated in Syracuse or in the world in general. Syracuse is a place for all different types of people, so 